Welcome students, uh, we will now talk of transplanting. You recall in my previous lecture I said that we are talking of equipment for uh, seeding, planting and then transplanting. I gave a reference, a brief reference uh, while talking there of planting. So, transplanting is that we are planting certain level of seedlings at one location and then we will remove from there and then put in a bigger field where in certain amount we want. We do not want them in groups of uh, 10, 12, 15 like that, but we want in certain groups maybe 2 or 3 seedlings to be put at certain spacings. That is what is known as transplanting. Let us see what is the equipment available, how do we prepare these seedlings, what are the different processes of that, what are the different equipment available. Well, you, you may, uh, it may not be that uh, uh, technical in the sense that you may think that uh, there is no calculation and equation, but lot of scientific uh, methodology is involved in preparing the seed, seedlings at, uh, a, in the nursery because the nursery is where you are um, growing everything. For example, nursery is the place for the children when in the nursery if they are not taken care of well then, then they do not grow up um, a better human being in the later parts of their uh, career. So, we, uh, if, if you take a uh, clue from there the nursery of the seeds also must be there and uh, uh, the seedlings must be taken very, um, very carefully when they are taken from there and then put somewhere else. So, what are the processes involved? We will go uh, into details of that. You might have um, some of you, um, those who are aware of this might have seen, but I will like to put them together because in this uh, um, lecture of uh, farm machinery, it is very imperative, it is very essential that a designer and an engineer must have details of all aspects. And that is why in my lectures you will find so far and then even later that I have tried to encompass everything which is from a basics to the high level and high technology which will give you a gamut of information to the designers, to the manufacturers and uh, people who are interested in really designing and contributing in the design of uh, farm machinery for betterment of uh, crop yield and things like that. So, let us go through this transplanting and uh, learn about the various aspects of this transplanting. Field preparation, very important, Why, what sort of field preparation you should uh, have when you want uh, the transplanting. Primary plowing is essential, no need to tell you um, so details, 6 to 8 weeks it should be done. Secondary plowing 1 to 2 weeks before, yes because now it, it is nearer you would like to do it, a max planting with maximum depth of 5 to 7 centimeters. See we would like when we are talking of this uh, seed field preparation about 5 to 7.5 centimeter depth the um, soil must be pre well prepared. The burns etc. Um, uh, destroy rat, burrows, repair holes cracks, recompared the burns etc. These are important because um, uh, when we are talking of field preparation, we must talk of the proper field. So, what are the other details? Leveling the field will give better water coverage. Uh, needless to explain that I have already talked of the this particular equipment which is a, a laser line leveler and hence this is very important. Soil puddling. Now, when we are talking of transplanting particularly with respect to um, paddy, we are talking of puddling, soil puddling which should be done at least 1 to 2 days before seedling. Okay. Now, this is very important when we should be doing this because the uh, um, to uh, well allow the water to clear when direct seeding, allow the water to clear when direct seeding when uh, you could be doing direct seeding. In fact, uh, there are, uh, when I explained the um, uh, different uh, uh, equipment for transform for paddy, I had so new a drum seeder also where we are talking of direct seeding, plumules, I mean small germinated seeds were there and then drums were there in which uh, we had talked of that. Now, transplanting when we are talking of growing seedlings and doing. So, when we prepare the field, well preparation of the soil after that we maintain that there should be puddling, churning of the soil with a certain standing of water. 
Now, what is this? Puddling. This puddling is me mechanical manipulation, mechanical manipulation of the soil in presence of standing water, very important. So that it prevents loss of water through percolation. This is the main aim of churning, uh, puddling. And uh, facilitate the transplanting of paddy seedlings by making the soil softer. So, while we do, we puddle, churn the soil and then we create a certain layer of soil and it is softer so that when the seedlings are put in, they will be standing over there. Now, what should be the quality of a puddle? It, this is a question which is asked many times. People have done a lot of work on that and uh, they say what is the level of puddling we should be having. Now, if you see the process by which is it done, sample of uh, soil water suspension, sample of soil water uh, suspension shall be taken by immersing a glass tube to a depth of about 100 millimeters. The sample should be taken from a number of points. It should be taken from number of points and then it should be in the vertical, in fact you should be put uh, in a vertical direction and then take it inside and then take the sample. It is not that from out uh, from the from the top you should take like this. So, if the um, uh, cylinder is there is just uh, put it like this, take it first inside the water and then take the um, uh, amount of material. And then that material is allowed to settle down uh, for about 18 hours, you can see about 18 hours, then that will settle down. So, the puddling index is then given as the volume of the soil settled uh, and total volume of the soil. So, what is the settled soil for the total volume of the soil? This is the puddling index. The quality, this will talk of the quality of puddle. Now, see the operation being uh, done here the, by this power tiller by these rotary we do the operation. So, quality of puddling generally if uh, my experience and we have seen that about 60 to 65 percent of uh, puddling index or 0 0.5, 0 0.66, 0 0.65 value puddling index will be acceptable to us if you um, talk of uh, the condition in which the seedling should be uh, uh, plant. Nursery preparation very important as I discussed earlier nursery uh, um, uh, preparation. How do you prepare that nursery? There could be a nursery bed preparation. Now, a process is shown here, a process is shown here 100 uh, square meter for a hectare required nursery. The, these are some thumb rules that uh, how much of uh, area required for 1 hectare. If you have to show 1 hectare of area from, with paddy, then what is the area required for for preparation of the seedlings, the nursery seedlings. So, it is about 100 square meter for this. Nursery bed preparation. Now, there are aspects of bed preparation. You can see these are explained over here. Select a level area near the water source with efficient drainage system, very important because then the, the surface should be covered with banana leaves with need removed or polyethylene seeds prevent seedling roots from penetrating through the bottom soil layer. Now, these are some of the important uh, uh, things which the um, person must do. And if you go to the farmers, now they have also come across various methodologies and various ways by which they do it. Uh, this is a general way that we are talking of uh, seed bed preparation. But then they um, give um, the uh, fertilizer also, uh, some level of fertilizer also they on give some organic fertilizer maybe they will give so that the, um, the seedlings are grown in time. Now, a depog uh, or mat depog here we talk without uh, soil. So, uh, this is called we also grown in, in the um, uh, trays and uh, without any soil. Now, this is another method of uh, growing nursery, but then for that you need to have another infrastructure at the different level of infrastructure for uh, uh, creating that depot nursery, but it is another type of nursery for mat uh, preparation.
preparation of the soil see the details are all given here you can if you go through the details you will find that what do we do in the, pre in the preparation of the soil mixture what how is the soil prepared it is very mm, we have mm, explained over here in the filling the soil mixture how do you fill the soil mixture each aspect uh, pre germinating uh, seeds soak the seeds for 24 hours drain and incubate now each aspect see mixing soil manure fertilizer now you can see that this is what we have tried to do then the frame for filling soil now these, these are the frames which are filling the soil how the filling is taking place and then uh, uh, the sowing of pre germinated seeds and covering the soil now you see how they have uh, done this part of it and how they are trying to cover frame for filling soil now there should be a frame for filling of this soil what the, the frame has been created uh, sprinkle of water to soak the bed yeah some, some water must be there so that bed is to, and matter nursery this is how the nursery will be available to you so if you follow these uh, aspects of preparation filling and the pre germination as per these aspects which we have explained it is a very uh, self explanatory the slide which uh, uh, we have made for you to understand the whole process. And if, if you follow in fact the farmers follow this practice several locations we have taken from them and we have uh, in fact uh, seen that there is hardly any deviation from one location to other. These are the standards by which uh, even all over the world people follow. Well, transplanting, well, needless to say, I have told you that the classification of transplanters. So, manual definitely we discussed earlier, which is mostly done by the ladies. Then you have several devices have come up, manual, manually operated transplanters. Some have come here, we have to go backward. Then some of the power tiller ones, which are also there. And then self propelled ones which are very popular in all these um, uh, countries um, uh, particularly Asian countries very much popular. Then a mini tractor operated transplanter is also there. In fact, uh, uh, you, um, we will also show you maybe in next uh, due course we will show you the operation of this. But then on the basis of the uh, power source what are all these things at one place you will be in a position to understand to see that what are the methodologies, what are the equipment available. So, this uh, particular slide I feel is very beneficial to you to have a look at all these aspects at one go and at one location. If you want to make any changes, if you want to think that why a particular posture is adopted, there are many options, many locations where you can put some uh, uh, design aspect and uh, make it better. Say for example, you have seen here the ladies this is the posture they are uh, they are maintaining. So, it has become essential that there should be a standing posture. So, from ergonomics point of view this is a posture which is better then but then this is being pulled in the backward direction. So, this is another aspect that if I go in the forward direction I can do a better job than when I go in the backward direction. But then there are aspects of this job being done. So, we have to think of this. Then what is the rate at which this uh, the seedlings are being picked up and what are the type of seedlings and uh, what are the uh, mechanisms of picking the seedlings from the mat we will see in the in later uh, slides. Well, there are two types of seedlings yes uh, if you have seen earlier and maybe the ones which are being used about 20, 30 years back. Uh, Mostly the uh, transplanting means from the nursery they are picked up or then bundles small bundles are made by the ladies in most of the cases. And uh, they, these bundles are then transported on their head and go to the uh, location where it has to be transplanted. So, they will stand in row, row and maintain uh, generally maintain a certain distance of 20 centimeter or so and then uh, put 2, 3 seedlings and this is what they used to do. Now, that, is, that type of seedling is known as root wash type that means we uproot them, wash the roots and then transplant them fresh in the location where do we want. Now, another one where I discussed about uh, in the previous uh, slide that we have mats created and those mats now 
are kept into the system, the, uh, the equipment which I showed you earlier. Uh, for example, here, see here, this is, these are the mats which are kept here, soil bearing seedling type mats. Now, they call it soil bearing. Now, there are the um, root wash type and uh, this type, two types are there. And uh, since the people are um, very much uh, uh, familiar with the root wash type, they would like to have equipment for that. So, many people have come up with the equipment for uh, root wash type also, but you can see the uh, details of uh, such equipment which has been designed and uh, some other uh, manual drawn equipment or also seen in literature you will find. But then one has to appreciate the the, uh, the efficiency of the operation to be um, completed because that is the essence. We do not want to prolong for a long duration of time. You get very short duration uh, for doing this operation. So, um, uh, choosing this and then planning uh, has to be well in advance and should be done properly. In the, uh, in the transplanters, particularly the mechanical transplanters, you know that uh, how the seedlings when uh, from the mat, how they are picked up. Definitely if you have a hand like fingers like this, you put your finger into a mass. Uh, if you want to put a finger into a mass, then you can hold it and then bring it back and leave there in the soil and release. Now, this sort of action you can uh, do. Same thing is uh, being done by the uh, the uh, fingers which are uh, given, fingers which are there. One is uh, the tweezer type of uh, seed, is in a fixed fork type. Now, the different uh, designers have given different types of uh, uh, these uh, fingers. Now, here is your ingenuity. You can think of a better design. There are several, I will show you, there are several ones. Now, which one is better for which condition, which condition of the soil and uh, which gives you mm, uh, easier action, which gives you less amount of material required, which is very complicated, which is less complicated, which gives you uh, approximate amount of the mm, uh, seedling that you want and things like that. You need to consider when you are thinking of the design. These are another type moving finger type, the rotating pin, prints and type. Now, these details we have given actually um, uh, from the literature whatever is available uh, from different locations we have given you. We want that uh, you must have a look at this. Now, you will consider as a designer, you must consider the pros and cons of a particular design. Why a particular uh, type of finger should be picked up? Why not the other type? What are the complications in the design? What is the material of construction? How will be the life of this? How much cost is involved in this? Because you need to, while you are talking of particular operation to be done precisely, you must definitely decide about these types. There are these various types which have been given. I mean, I need not go more details into this because this is already available. But then I, I want to impress upon you that you must have a look at these and try to study before you want to think of a new one, which as a designer you must think of. You must uh, see uh, the cost involved, material of construction, their placement, etc. Uh, with respect to the power source, what is the size of the power source which you are taking, what is the speed of, at which you want to do and things like that. The manual um, operated uh, rice transplanter, uh, well, um, I have shown you earlier also but one of these we have just shown you where uh, a fixed type of uh, uh, seedling finger is there. Uh, I must, yeah, this is, uh, this is what it is. So, we have just shown you uh, one which is uh, available and generally this is a um, two row one and uh, number of rows, okay, two to four, two to four actually. Uh, you can have 2 to 4, but we have seen that particularly for uh, more than 2, uh, it is it, it becomes very difficult for walking uh, inside the mud, uh, muddy field or inside the puddle field. It has become very, our own experiences. We people have tried 4, but the output will be very, very less. 
but if you want that uh, this should be operated faster and output is more then even within 2 and 3 there is a um, uh, debate and 2 is uh, 1 which is acceptable even the ladies can uh, um, uh, use this machine and uh, particularly for lady this is 2 and maybe for a uh, male person 3 is okay. People have tried 4 uh, rows, but then one ha as a designer if you go to the field and actual operation if you see then you will realize that how much is the time the person is in a position to operate because the ergonomics which I, I understand that always we must think of the drudgery of the person when you are thinking of the design of an equipment. So, that is important. So, we have just given you here so that you have a look at the one which is a device for small farms if the people are talking of small farms. So, a small farmer can have this a 2 row unit or a unit or a 3 row unit and is available with the um, uh, farmers or the manufacturers. So, it is cheaper and he can use it, he can create a small nursery if he has a small uh, field for uh, transplanting. self propelled uh, rice transplanter. Well, this is the one which I said that we will be talking of, uh, I will be showing you a video also in the uh, actual field conditions. I will just go through the details of that I have shown you, but then uh, it is it's very proper for uh, me to have a look, uh, have a look at it and show you what are the details of that. You should appreciate this point. See the engine the power source which is there we call self propelled. So, it is this is the engine which is giving uh, the power to this. There is a traction wheel which will take uh, this is a traction wheel here which will take uh, of the traction while uh, it is moving in the puddled soil condition. Then there is a gearbox we, when we are taking power from the gearbox from the uh, soil I mean power from the unit for uh, operation of the uh, uh, the fingers as well as the movement of the seed tray etcetera. Then there is a float here yes float because that uh, float will allow you to uh, allow the whole machine to float on the puddled soil. It is very important remember if you have a faulty float then you have hell of a problem and then the machine will not operate you should not operate by the way. Then planting fingers of course, it uh, this planting fingers are sewn here just for uh, your knowledge and what is the type of um, fingers uh, planting fingers you can we have discussed a lot about uh, these. So, we will see uh, a small field operation of this particular device. Another aspect of system of rice intensification this is uh, has people have been talking of this for a long time uh, because there are certain advantages of this. What we want is that see depletion of water resources we know that water is uh, a source uh, a scarce commodity which is going to happen. Now, rice productivity is also stagnating, yes stagnating we are not in a position to increase the rice yield for various regions we I need not uh, discuss that here, but yes you have seen over the years that the, um, the productivity is also stagnating not um, a markable difference in the yield that we are getting. Importance of organic and growing importance of organic agriculture, yes when we are thinking of organic agriculture organic everything because of the. Uh, the um, ill effect of the fertilizers, pesticides, etc. Now, people are th uh, thinking of the organic uh, tea, organic everything. So, organic agriculture is now growing in importance. So, from that point of view, also SRI, this system for rice int int intensification, uh, gains a lot of importance. Increasing production cost, uh, increasing production cost, production cost is also increasing. So, we would also like to bring down this uh, cost of production. We, so, we need need best utilization of family labor for small marginal farmers now exactly this if you have a small plot of land and you have less people to work with a system of rice int intensification will definitely help you and it will uh, give you uh, better yield uh, comparatively good yield. Now, if you go back to the previous slide.
Yes. Now, this uh, you must know a little bit of uh, history. I just told you what uh, what are the benefits of that, and now you have a look at it. This SRI was first uh, synthesized by a, a person Henry de Leo from uh, a French Jewish priest. He, he just thought of this. So we have given you for knowing the history. You must have a look at the history. You must know how it has come from. It's a, in fact, SRI is often described as a high yielding uh, and environment friendly technology. This is very important that we talked that relies on changing farmers agronomic practices. So, when we are talking of changing practices, when we are talking of organic uh, 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 agriculture, when we are thinking of minimizing the cost of input etcetera, their uh, system of rice intensification is a very relevant talks and people are now even thinking of what sort of equipment we should design. I think as a designer you must look into this, you may think of uh, redesigning the existing uh, transplanters some of them and think of uh, SRI equipment. Some people have made some effort in this line and so as a designer you must uh, think of this. There are certain principles of SRI, certain important principles which we, we must know. Uh, it is well uh, worth uh, uh, mentioning here. Raising seedling carefully, raising the seedlings carefully, garden like nursery, well we, we need we need to give a good environment for this because we are talking of single seed, uh, single plant, single seedling. Uh, planting. So, there is very careful att attention has to be given. Very young seedlings are taken. Generally for this we take about 3 to 4 weeks of uh, seedlings are taken for transplanting. Uh, we have talked of that earlier, but here it should not be between 8 to 15 days you can imagine that as uh, low as 8 days to 15 days. So, people will expect anywhere in between this so that it gives you a good health when it is transplanted, when it goes to the other location, it has a good health. Water management to promote moist aerated soil conditions, now including dry periods of 3 to 6 years. Now, it, it also needs certain uh, actually care, uh, that care is that moist uh, water management to promote moist around the uh, seedling. Early regular weeding, well these are very important things which you need to do typically 4 times during a regular interval. Make a with using whatever uh, you can think of the device by which if it is a large area you can think of mechanical, if it is a small area you can think of uh, manually and all that. Then fertilization preferably using organic uh, sources, well, this is what uh, the source the source says that the 6 um, key principles of system of rice int intensification are these, well this, uh, this is what this uh, gentleman or uh, these people the reference from where I have taken they are talking of. Once you go into details of this, once you are thinking of what sort of uh, uh, equipment you will design and uh, what will be the size of this equipment, for whom it will be designed, how to apply the uh, enough moisture there, how to apply water and how in fact you should think of creating the nursery itself and so that uh, this could be also taken and done. And uh, I think this is advanced uh, knowledge which people are going into and designing the equipment. I think uh, um, worth knowing about this therefore. Benefits, well uh, if you go back to, uh, we have talked of what are the things which are required and if you talk of these then definitely benefits are tremendous, all are listed over here. Uh, they say that with higher yields, sure we are going to get higher yield, we are going to get good quality of the grain and straw, uh, reduced duration of the crop cycle, yes could be reduced duration of crop cycle, this is very important. Less chemical inputs, yes we are not thinking of chemical inputs, in fact we are advocating that there should be organic uh, material which should be given, less water requirement, yes, then uh, less chaffy grain that means more of uh, solid grain you will you are likely to get. 
higher head rise recovery well these are the offshoots of what you can get. So, SRI now every advantage is loaded towards uh, system of rice intensification and uh, as a designer you must look into this you must think of this how best we can utilize this technique because aim is to produce more and for this is a staple food we must think of designing and we must think of uh, contributing in the design of such equipment. Thank you very much.